We've got to move these over. And oh boy, it is windy today and it's noisy in the background. We'll just keep powering through. We got to move the orchids as well. Hey, <laughs> that's the fun part. He thinks it's also a good time to be changing the curtain. What do you say? <laughs> I know. I know. Oh, but this curtain has served me for four years now. It's not too bad. Seeing as it's just a shower curtain, not UV treated or anything like that. Not too shabby. Now I have to make sure that I do exactly what I did before because there's a certain configuration to this curtain. It's too big for the actual rack, but it works perfectly because I need the corner to overlap once we get to the east side. How are you doing? It's good to have you here. Thank you for being here. Been a while since I've talked to you. Anyway, let me get my spanking new curtain. I have to do it right here because then at least maybe I can show you something and of course it's more at my level as well so I don't have to do any acrobatics when we get to the east side. So enough of the jibber jabber, let's get a move on. Gotta love zip ties, gotta love zip ties. Check this out. <laughs> it always has to happen on a blustery day. I can assure you though that all the days recently have been like this, so it's gotta happen. <laughs> we gotta get through this. Now we gotta move this over there. And while I fandangle that part without getting blown away by my natural sail here, <laughs> would you give this video a like, please? And it's a good time to subscribe to the channel because woohoo, we're heading into the growing season proper. So excited. Wouldn't want you to miss it. Thank you. This might be a better idea so that we don't get launched over the hedge. <laughs> and meanwhile, what do you think? Is this one going to last another season? I'm going to leave it for now, seeing as it is the worst time of year with regards to wind. I'm going to let it get even more ratty looking at the ends. But here you have the same curtain four years later, like that, and a new one. Eventually, I'll switch this one out. But for now, we're just going to ride it out because, yeah, this wind, I'm not going to ruin a brand new curtain for the next four weeks while these conditions persist and the spring is pushing the winter out of the way and it looks like it's winning okay you can tell i'm procrastinating because this is going to be a little bit laborious and a lot painful <laughs> wish me luck 25 percent of the territory has been covered we have 75 percent to go but oh my goodness it got so bad while i was moving the rack Whew, I almost lost my Ancelia Africanas to the wind on that staging area. So I brought them over here. Oh, that was a close call. I saw them teetering and I got to them on time. And I put the little cousin it babies down here as well, where I can keep an eye on them. They are getting misted heavily. So, <laughs> okay, get on with it, Nina. Come on, bring out that Hulk in you. <laughs> I know, right? You'd think, all of that for this? <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, this is only just the beginning. I can't bring other orchids onto this corner because my nights are not above 15 degrees Celsius just yet. I think I've got two more nights to go before I'm happy and it steadies out. But at least this part of the job is done. And then when the nights do warm up, I am going to bring everybody and consolidate this corner for the growing season proper. So it's just a longer walk to bring in all the Schomburgias, Mimicophilus, sorry and also my Coilostylus ciliaris variety or Stedii. But what I did want to show you because, yeah, my Lottie Jesse I cross with Skinnery can already stay out here, but I want to show you something. Oh, this is so exciting. I got this orchid as a near blooming size quasi seedling from the orchid room back in 2020. So she means a lot to me. She's never bloomed for me, but she has come on leaps and bounds. And last year we did a big repot on her because I'm thinking that this is the year on 2023 that we are going to see blooms on her and I didn't want to disturb her again. But she is blowing everything out of the water at the moment. Submarine style, not just a growth, per lead these are the leads two new growths starting on both leads look at that at least i hope you can see that oh my goodness so happy is she empty let me just check she shouldn't be <gasps> and she's drinking up so calcium nitrate is going to go in there sasahibi and that is straight away in swahili and i left a poor little one on the floor <laughs> Hang on a second, let me just get my puff adder crossed with Joe right here. <laughs> That's not a good thing to leave on the floor. Nope, nope, nope. Not that my pup eats any more orchids, but they do other things and I don't want that happening around my pots. I am off to fix a calcium nitrate cocktail for the Skinnery of 300 parts per million. She is going to need it and... Whoa. Get some garlic alcohol right in there that's not happening so i hope you enjoyed this quick little vid i still have the deep south to deal with but i don't want to overdo it my hip is giving me some serious issues these past days mobility is very very limited so i'll fix that area up even though the angracoids are not ready to come outside Hmm, not for another week at least. So, still got that to do. Today is not the day, but today is the day to thank you for watching and also to wish you a fabulous rest of your day. On that one condition though, please, that you stay safe. Take care. Bye.